Welcome to the screencast where I'm going to show you how to use Google Transfer and Google Takeout so you can either transfer your files to another Google account or take your files out of your Google account and save them to an external drive. Before you do a transfer you probably want to come to your Google Drive and if you mouse down under the menu here you can mouse over this uh, for storage used and see how much storage space your school or work account is currently taking up. When you transfer to a new personal account, you only get 15 gigabytes of storage between your Google Drive, your Gmail, and your Google Photos. Now in Google Drive, the only things that count against storage are files that are not Google Drive files. So if I were to make in my Google Drive, if I made some Google Docs, some Google Sheets, some Google Slides, if I made some Google Forms or some drawings or some maps or some new Google Sites, those do not count against my storage. Other files like videos, pictures, PDFs, those all count against your storage. When you do mouse over this uh, storage usage here, there's a little blue eye. If you click on that, that's super helpful because it shows you then the things in your drive that are taking up the most space sorted down to things that are taking up the least space. So if you do happen to have over 15 gigabytes of storage, you might want to think about individually or group selecting some of these larger files and when you select them you can go to the three dots and download those out individually. The transfer tool that I'm about to show you takes all your Google Drive files and emails and moves them to a new Google account of your choice uh, but if you have more than 15 gigabytes of storage you might want to do some cleaning up first. Alright so here I am in a student account and I'm going to transfer my files out. Maybe I'm graduating and I want to take my files with me or I'm leaving the district for another reason and I want to, I want to keep my files. If I go to the profile picture here and I go to my account, when I click on my account I'm presented with this page. Under personal and privacy there's this area here for control your content. You're going to click on control your content and this shows you the two ways that you can take files out. You can create an archive which is, is making a zip file of all your files or you can transfer your content. I'm going to show you how to transfer content. Let's click on start transfer and walking through these steps you have to put in what that personal email address is so I have one that I've set up just a regular Gmail account if you don't have a regular Gmail account you can follow these links to create one and then come back here when you're ready I'm gonna click on send code what it has now said is it has sent an email to that email address so using another browser or another computer you're gonna to wanna to go to that email account so I'm gonna flip windows here and here is the email that says to verify my account. When I click on that, it says that a request was made from this email address. I have to click here to get confirmation code. This is going to bring up a code. So it's helpful if you're able to have two computers handy to do this or a separate browser if you're able to be on a Mac or a Windows machine. So you don't have to log in and log out all the time. But if you're only on one machine, you can do that as well. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to go back to my student account and the next step in the process is I have to enter that code right here. I can copy and paste it. I could write it down and retype it. You just want to make sure that that code is correct. And I'm going to hit verify. So that is now verified. That has linked the two accounts together. So it's saying that it's going to take files right now. Google Drive files and email are set to transfer to this FPS pictures account that I've created. If you don't want to send your emails over, you can uncheck these or turn them gray. I'm going to click start transfer. And it's just that easy. Now it says you're all set. That transfer is, is in progress. It does say here it may take up to a week. That just depends on how much how many files are in your account. Um, it has gone pretty quick in the few that we've done just as a test. And now you can go to that other account and what you should see is you should see a folder here so I'll make this a little bit bigger the folder is named by the email address of where it came from and date and time stamped for when that transfer occurred and if you go in there there are the different files that were in that other account so here are the here are the few files I had I also had a chemistry folder and in there was a, another file as well uh, so those files anything that was in your my drive area will transfer over now if you had files that were shared with you those won't transfer um, you'd have to actually save them to your my drive in your school or work account for this to work in your email what happens is there will be a folder created you can see right here and if I go to that student 3 at Franklin Sabres that was the account I came from here are all the emails all in that one folder from the 
uh, from the original account. So that is the way that Google Transfer works. The other option, if I go back to the My Account area and I go back to Control Your Content, the other choice that was here was to download data. If you create an archive of your data, what this lets you do is this looks at everything that you have in your Google account. And if these are checked on, it means it's going to save those things out. But if you have other data stored, you can turn these things on, turn these things off. Maybe you want to keep your Google Keep Notes. Maybe you made um, some Google Maps. Those types of things are in here. When you click Next, it's going to create a zip file you can choose the maximum size that's needed so depending on if you're saving this to a flash drive or an external hard drive you can pick the max depending on how many files you have uh, and then it'll email you when that's done and you'll get a link and that'll download everything out of google your google account so that's more google take out transferring is transferring to a new account take out is you save your files to a flash drive to an external hard drive to a computer somewhere so those are the two options for getting your files out Hopefully this helps as you move on. Thanks so much for watching.